I know Mike Pierce came in overweight, but cut the guy, not so fast. I'm about to give you five plays and show you why we need Michael Pierce on this team. Tip to tally, Coach Evans, Ravens Roundup. Let's go. Alright, let's dive into this Michael Pierce film. As you can see him right here, and I'll spot shot it with so we can all know where he at. Please at the nose right here. And um let's see how dominant Michael Pierce is when healthy, when in you know at his playing weight and just see why we need him on the team and he don't need to be cut, he just needs to pass his fitness test. Let the ball get off. Look what he does to the center. He absolutely destroys the center. He's already pushing him two yards deep. So now he's going to meet, this is some kind of little stretch or outside zone play. He's going to meet the running back at the point of attack. Make him stop his feet four yards deep. Look at what he's doing to the center. He's already got up on him and pressed him out and got him way off balance. Way off balance. Not a lot of D-tackles out there with that ability. Now he makes the tackle. Look at that. Now he's making the tackle. But just look at this explosiveness. Let's watch it again, live action. Hands, drive, make the tackle. But some people want to cut this guy. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. One more time. And this is not, these uh, aren't choice plays. This happens all the time. Get rid of the center. Make the tackle. Bang. Certified run stuff. Let's go on to play two. Our right, play two against the Falcons. And I had tickets to this game, but didn't get notified that I had them until like two hours before the game and didn't get a chance to make it there. But let's uh, look at Michael Pierce. He's at the nose again. Spot shot him right here. And just watch as he maintains gap integrity all the way down the line. Don't overrun it. Don't overrun it. Let it come to you. Good job. It's a good job of total team defense, too. We'll see it from the back. But again, there's Pierce right down the middle of the formation, right by the center and one. Ball snaps. Now he beats the block right now. And keep his outside shoulder free, which is his right shoulder, which lets us know, you know, he, you know, what gap he has and he can maintain his gap. Now, if you look down the line, let me let it go a little further. Everybody's still running. Now, this is a good job of total team defense. We got a guy here setting the edge. Uh, this is Smith. Uh, his, he has his gap control because his outside arm is free. This is Williams. His, his, he has gap control because his outside arm is free. This is Pierce here with gap control and the outside arm is free. And we got, um, who is this? This is Mosley, and I can't tell who this is. Running it down from the backside. Peanut's the only one really being blocked right here. But look at this. Total team defense. Gaps controlled. And then this guy going to make it cut back. And then these three guys right here make the tackle. That's, that's the good team defense right there. And look how um, he get down that line, but we want to cut him. Really? Get the weight off you, um, Pierce. We're we, we not throwing you away. We're just watching the live action. Keep your gap, keep your gap, keep your gap. Make the tackle. Bam. It's good defense right there. Now, this next play is against the Chiefs. And we're just going to have a back view on this one. You see him right there in the one technique again. He blows up the guard. He's going to take the guard and press him. Watch him take the guard and press him. It's that simple. Take the guard, press him out the way. And make the tackle. So he's taking on the, the blocker and making the tackle. See, Brandon gets double teamed. He got his head in the right spot. And now you got to do is press him out the way now. Got him going backwards. Got him going backwards. Now, the back has nowhere to go. So he took the hole away. He took the hole away. Uh, Young has um, Mahomes if he decides to pull or whatever. Smith has his outside edge. Moses better clean up. But this is all set up by Pierce destroying this block. Uh, a one technique, you gotta be able to destroy blockers, whether it be guards or centers. And this guy just this guy does a good job of destroying blocks and, and making it easy on linebackers. Cause look, uh, we got two linebackers here that's not touched. 
You got Young, you got Mosley. This guy's here to destroy blocks and take up blockers. And in this case, if he makes the tackle, fine. In this case, he does. He destroys this block and makes the tackle. That simple. But we wanna cut this guy. I think not. One more time. Palo, press, tackle. That simple. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for film, then more film, or fruit, tomatoes, and more fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. Now on this play right here, I'm just gonna spy shadow and let you watch. I'm not gonna even, you know, give you a breakdown until after you see it from this angle and the back angle. This is a thing of beauty. Just watch. <laughs> Boy, get that weight off you. Pass that fitness test. Let me tell you what I see. Here, he's going against his guard. Shooting hands. He stopped four progress right now. Four progress on this guard is stopped. But now, he blows it up. Because now there's no hole for him to run through. Look at that. Running back trying to go through there. I got you right there. Because he didn't press him out the way. He got up under, pressed him, extended his arm so he could see where the ball is. Watch how his head moves in accordance with the running back. Running back's on this side, look where his head is. Running back jump cuts, look where his head is. Running back tries to get there. That's because he pressed him and got his eyes on the runner. Took a lot of body control, a lot of strength to do that. Back here, head there. As the back come across, look at his head go across. Right there. But we want to cut this guy. Mm -mm, I think not. It's a run stop, and he makes the top. Look at that. Stays in his gap. Don't try to go behind and overplay it. Come right back to him. Again, we want to cut this guy. Hell no. Nah. On his last play right here, we're just going to finish it off with another good play. Uh, I just show you his, his, his strength, his agility, his football IQ. Just put it all together on this one play right here. simple now let's talk you through it all right obviously Pierce is right here he presses his guy up look at that look at the extension bam watch him bounce back bam extension now when he extends it that's when he's gonna look for the ball when he extends it now he's looking for the ball he sees it coming he throws that guy out the way he's gonna slide right behind his pull let the puller go through Bam, make the tackle. Football IQ. Because he could have came early. Then the puller probably would have hit him. And, you know, the, 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 the running back would have made a bounce or get somewhere else. But he just kind of delays it, delays it, let him slide by. Pounce on the tackle. I mean, pounce on the ball carry. Right there. Blow him up. Slide in. So, strength and power right there. A little sneaky quickness. Football IQ. Go make the tackle. That simple. Now, yeah, this guy came in overweight. We all know it is much publicized. But that was a, a month or so ago. By in the next two weeks, I'm sure that way to be off of him. He'll come in and pass that fitness test and be back to doing some of the same thing right here because we need this guy to stop the run. We need this guy to help our young linebackers out and stop the run because the, the back end gonna have it. We need this guy up front to, to shut down run plays and the back end gonna shut down the, air, the, the pass plays. We're going to have it, I'm telling you. They're sleeping on us. We're going to have a top 10, top 5 defense. Like you can quote it, quote me right here saying we're going to have a top 5 defense still because we can stop the run and we can stop the pass. All I'm worried about is our young linebackers. Now again, you know, leave, leave uh, Pierce alone. 
Let him let him do his thing. He's gonna come back. I'm telling you, he's gonna come back in shape. Got enough shape to play, and we're gonna be all right. And again, this is Coach Evans. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, any questions, anybody you want to see before the season gets started, put it in the comment section. Sip the Talent presents Michael Pierce. We out. Before we get out of here, make sure you check out this commercial from one of my two sponsors, Bites by Beyond Berries. This is Coach Evans, and one of my favorite cheat treats are these small batch artisan bites by Beyond Berries. I'm selective about my chocolate, and they never disappoint. With each bite, it was an explosion in my mouth. Check out their enrolled, molded, infused, and dipped chocolate for yourself or for gifting. Bites by Beyond Berries. It's more than chocolate, it's an experience.